chosen from I chose to start the second half of 2021 July 1st in the Cane Ridge Revival Meeting House um, he'll show you around I'm at the pulpit dedicated to Barton Stone who poured so much into the frontiersmen the year 1800 was not good for the gospel um, Bibles were being burned taken out of churches there's a lot of drunkenness and people that were moving west to the frontier there weren't enough um, clergymen pastors ministers to minister to them and they were indifferent to religion so the heart of America was pretty cold toward God in 1800 um, there was a woman that really wanted to to know she was saved she was seeking the assurance of her salvation she was praying through there was preaching one night it was a gathering um, they called them communions where they would gather for two or three days and seek the Lord and all of a sudden she started weeping and bursting into song and it so shook the congregation others started singing shouting um, and a hunger started to awaken amongst the people for more of God and camp meetings began because people started coming there was nowhere for them to stay so they would camp outside in their wagons and in tents and in 1801 in August they planned another type camp meeting here in Cambridge Kentucky and the Friday night service was ordinary nothing really happened but what was unusual was um, more than 20,000, some say 30,000 gathered. They couldn't believe it. At the time, we're just east of Lexington, Kentucky. Lexington's population was 2,000. We're talking 10 times that amount of people, more than that, were here, gathering, hungry for a move of God. Nothing really happened on the Friday. They prayed all through the night. And Saturday night, Holy Spirit fell and people started manifesting Holy Spirit. People were in trances, they were slain, there were tongues, there was mighty move of God. People repented of their sins. Um, the Presbyterians, the Baptists, the Methodists all came together. There was a unity here. Um, and the meetings were extended for a full week instead of just three days. So it was a powerful move of God. Some historians say it was the most powerful move um, of the Lord in America to date. Um, I wanna read some scripture. I, I think two things that really stuck out as I studied this revival a little bit is how they anticipated God to move. And they were just so excited. And when he did begin to move, it says the children began to preach with biblical knowledge they did not have. It was supernatural. And after the revival happened, um, people started praying and saying, Lord, make it like Cane Ridge again. So we, we want the Lord to move how he wants to move in America again from all the revivals. You know, Joseph and I have been to Mount Moriah at the Welsh Revival. We've been to John Wesley's, John Knox, Heron Hut, where the Moravian Revival broke out. Um, this place we had not yet been. And I believe the Lord is really calling us to a fresh move in America on American soil. And I want to read these verses from Psalm 77. Yet I could never forget all your miracles, my God, as I remember all your wonders of old. And we're today remembering the wonders of old and saying, do it again, Lord, like Cambridge. Ridge. 